What Brian and Barry have focused on as the two visitor engagement team who are facilitating these conversations is an opening up of a conversation. So focusing in initially on the building, then the history of IMA, and focusing in on the collection that IMA has, some 3,500 works, and how to access that through accessing that online. And then spending time focusing in on a single artwork. They focused in on one of the works by Stephen McKenna. So that was really interesting to see everybody's perception. It was so multi-layered and there were so many things in it. Like I know Stephen McKenna's work, but it's more contemporary, so I had never seen that work before. You got a real taste of what um, each institution has to offer. So I thought it was really invaluable, especially during lockdown. It was like, you know, you got your computer set up and you're all planned, your cup of tea, all ready to go at 11, like every Wednesday. So it was nice to have, you know, a schedule and something different to look forward to. So it was just very, very interesting to get everyone's input and it was, it was brilliant to, to, to take part. And it certainly made me want to go back to IMA uh, as, it, as it reopens. I think the Zoom sessions have given people time to slow down and in inviting people to consider very open-ended questions, it can open out into a shared conversation and a collaborative understanding of the artwork. So it gives everybody voice, it gives everybody time to consider and be considered in that conversation. The National Neighbourhood is really about connection and culture, so it's really about widening access to culture and participation in culture. And that through the programme that people find out things that they might like to do together next. So it's a kind of giving it a go, a kind of way into culture, um, but we hope at the end of it then that people might have kind of found a way to build that creativity into their everyday lives.